Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, there's a few new uh, things that have transpired since the last time we were here. Um, we are, of course, now back in Filgrave's Mansion, where we have taken out the lovely, lovely undead, the Mystic Carrion. Um, I don't recall if I've looted everyone. I think I have not, so that's good news, I guess. Um, so, a bunch of keys... Scroll of Eye Bite, that's pretty new. Your eyes become black corridors walled in teeth, your gaze capable of inflicting dread, sickness, and putting creatures to sleep. I'll, I'll take it. Staff of Cherished Necromancy. Um, I guess necromancy spells. Okay, so well, the main thing here is I don't have anyone who uses necromancy. So I guess I'll just hold on to it to potentially sell. Again, with the Spore Keeper stuff, don't care for it. Veil of the Morning is undead pretty much only. Pretty much just anti-undead, which is good, but I don't know if it's strictly necessary. Now, I'm not quite sure what I have him wearing. Eh, it's kind of meh. But it's not like I want to lower his AC or anything like that, so I'm going to have to deal with that as it is. So I guess I'll just hold on to that cloth armor as well. Um, thank you. And I kind of doubt any of these other characters will have anything worthwhile. I'm going to assume that the key is actually meant for um, meant for the door upstairs. Now I am going to take all of the uh, the paintings that aren't bolted down because obviously at this point at this point they have no use for it and as far as I can tell it is no longer marked as stealing so none of the undead guys in here will care. So I get to get a bunch of free money. I do always appreciate free money. Thank you. Actually, honestly, I can just sell it right back to them, can't I? Or isn't one of them a merchant? At least one of them is a merchant. I know that much. Um, toss it here. The amiable art of necromancy. Uh, an excerpt from Cherish Hollow's amiable, uh, The Amiable Art of Necromancy. It's a lonely, lonely world for a young woman in the modern culture of necromancy. She chafes against the shibboleth. Who needs necromancy? What could such a gross thing possibly be for? These questions are very valid. I hope my answer satisfies. Necromancy is a social magic. I have a zombie, Ma uh, Mr. Nascent Owens, under my thrall. Now he remembers absolutely nothing of his past life. He only knows this new one I've given him. He derives a large amount of pleasure from, say, getting me tea, administering a stinky but relaxing back rub, or eating the brains of my enemies. The spiritual implications are pretty profound here, right? Here's a husk imbued with purpose, given a direction, made useful in the most economic sense, and happy in the metaphysical sense. So who needs necromancy? We who demand a chance to challenge the whole death thing, uh, because we're weird and lonely and we like having friends as much as anyone. Alright, interesting scenario that you have posed before me. Not quite sure if I quite agree, but uh, all right, I can try living with that. Um, now, there was another book back here as well. The Wall of the Faithless. Is that another painting I can pick up over here? At the core of the Fugue Plains barren ash gray wasteland stands the City of Judgment with its in, uh, crystal spire jutting above the streets and the influx of souls. These are godly folk seeking the verdict of those ruling Fugue. Their faces hopeful or sullen, their boot heels caked in the mud of perdition. Yet, for those who claim no godly patronage in life, there is only the wall. The wall erected by Merkel, Lord of Bones, to keep those of insubstantial faith from any possible form of peace. See it gored at, uh, sorry, see it gored and clawed at by the desperate, clung with fingernails, flecked with smashed skulls. How Merkel enjoys his petty tor torments. Okay. They make it sound like Merkel is, uh is like especially um how do i put it petty against people with no specific religion uh so no atheists allowed to wherever he wants to uh, welcome them first of all take this there's a lot of books that have blown up off the walls so i guess that's what happened huh yeah i guess we just blew up a bunch of the walls off, or a bunch of the books off the walls which is quite interesting. It's interesting that this actually works, and you can you can read the books afterwards. Um, that seems like it's probably worth money. 
I don't really think I'm going to need to read all these, so I'm just going to leave them be for the time being. Gimme, why am I running all the way over there to take a painting? Excuse me? Hello? Okay, I'll just take that instead. Thank you. Seriously, though, where am I going to take this? Am I going outside to take this? Oh, I'm going upstairs. Oh! Oh, but they talk. Okay, let's worry about them later. Uh... Okay, I'll, I'll pick that up in a moment. Can we talk to you guys again? My kind-hearted friend. What can I do for you? Well, um... Do you have anything to trade? Yes. I think I'll pick up where Carrion left off. A city like this needs a medium. Okay, you say that, but I do have to ask the immediate question of, do you have the same set of skills and knowledge that he had? I mean, just because you take on his uh, his title doesn't mean you have the, uh, the skills to back it up, but alright. If you say so, I'll take your word for it, because I'm pretty much never going to be using your services. I'm going to sell those. I hope this is worth some money. Probably not a huge amount. Yep, okay, okay, one gold each. If it's not highlighted, it's probably not worth my time. Understood. Um, let's talk to you again. Actually, before we talk to the rest of them, well, we will take these. But I do want to talk to the people upstairs, or the ghasts upstairs. I noticed they didn't attack us on site. Maybe they were a little bit more friendly, and as a result, they were um, lesser favored, shall we say? I better have the key for this at this point. Thank you. Torch of Revocation. The staple of any worthwhile exorcist burns with a pale flame that destroys the anchor of troublesome ghosts in need of banishment. Okay, you say that, but is that, like, actually a thing? Right? Like, is that is that an actual special effect that I can use? Acquisitions record. Items to be acquired. Doll of the Necromancer. Reanimation. As... Ashtha Geldig Ash Eshperta. Okay, I don't think I need to read all these. Bone of Abyssal Depth, Torch of Revocation. Burning of Tormented Spirits Anchor, Oscar Fervis, Baldur's Gate. Okay, so this is what I need. Understood. Um, random finger, I'll take it all. So now you're gonna tell me to use the um, use the uh, the torch I just found, aren't you? Sure, I'll take that. Um Think Carrion's cup. Now I've talked to you before. And Strange Beggar Sacrum. To your kindness and to Carrion rotting in his grave. Well, he's not in a grave yet. He's kinda still out here, but that's alright. Uh Thrumbo. Thrumbo. A kind hearted friend. What can I do for you? I'm trying to help one of Carrion's customers, Oscar. He's been possessed. I don't know how to do exorcisms yet. But feel free to look through Carrion's records. Perhaps you'll find something of use there. Oh, I've already found it. Don't you worry. Bye. Alright, let's go upstairs and find out who these ghasts are. And why were they locked upstairs? Were they the original owners of the house or something? Uh, hello? Ligus and Hamate. Time to rest. Um, okay. Hamate? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Whoops. I tried to skip the dialogue. My bad. Um, don't think there's anything particularly re relevant. Please understand. Where's my pokey bank? Um, please, Father Carrion, I beg you. I just need a little more time to earn back to pay, uh, enough to pay your fee. My house was ransacked. I have nothing left. I can hardly put food on the table. Father Carrion? I mean, was he actually a um, religious figure, or is that just is that just um, what people have taken to calling him? Oh my goodness! What the hell's going on back here? These corpses aren't the freshest. Evil, evil, evil! Father, carry in my arse! You are nothing but a scam artist. They say you are a necessary evil if we want to talk to our loved ones, but I say you're just plain evil. As soon as I have evidence enough to report you, you can expect a visit from the Fist. Better yet, the Steel Watch. Yeah, it doesn't seem, um, this type of room in here does not seem like, um, the best, shall we say. Bunch of corpses in here. 
with missing parts. Always good. Um, well, I'm glad we took him out. And then there's a fake wall. With more cadavers. And a, la a, a, a lovely ladder. Where does this go? Uh, to a trap door downstairs. Okay, well, before we go through this, let's go grab that. And then check out the uh, upper floor, because there's still a upper level. Okay, I've got a painting from a really awkward location. Um, but at least I got it. I did not mean to type pet poet, please. Toss it into his inventory, and then uh, we'll go upstairs. And then I'm gonna climb down that hatch and find out where it leads. Probably somewhere in the base or in the uh, in the sewer system again. I might as well grab that on the way through. All right, what have we got? Oh hi, Rectus. All right. I mean, you guys have plenty to eat in here, as far as I can see. Lots of dead bodies. Thenar, gold pendant. I'm taking that. Visera, lovely. Mystic Carrion, no more. Thrumbo in charge. Better. Much better. I hope that is true. Um, that remains to be seen, all things considered. Um, because obviously, I mean, I don't know how they were being treated before, but I have to assume that Mystic Carrion was not treating these people very well. But that should not be a surprise, um, given everything we've learned so far, right? Um, Carpal, that's a different person as well. Master. Yeah, he's been replaced. A red carmine mask. Intriguing. It looks like a standard leather helmet from, um, from Oblivion. We can always sell that later. It's whatever. Rusty dagger's not worth my time. Balcony. I guess we could have jumped up here at some point, huh? Actually, no, I don't have the key for this. Intriguing. I better have the key. Okay, okay, that doesn't require a key. That's good. Maybe I should check the coffins, too, before anything else. I doubt there's anything inside these. Yeah. Other than, like, potentially some bones and clothing or something, I don't think there would be much. Hello. Uh, Beggar's Portrait. Portrait. It's been warded with necrotic magic. Who's the beggar? Uh, Raiden exorcises. Oh, <laughs> for the for the guests, a series of writing exercises outlined by Thrumbo. Oh, addressed to my brothers. Beneath the exercises, several misguided attempts to uh, to write the letters of the alphabet, none of which are successful. Well, that's a bit. I mean, hey, at least they're trying. Um. So, even though they remember the details of their past life, did they, like, lose IQ, like, intelligence um, when they were resurrected? Or were they never, like, or was Sombro just never able to write in the first place because he was illiterate? Given this setting, it's entirely possible that he was just illiterate in life as well. Which is interesting, because now he's going to learn more in death than he ever did in life. Quite, uh, poetic, isn't it? Okay. Um, with that in mind, the hell's going on here? Uh-oh. Intelligence check. I'm the worst at this. I'm literally the worst. Worth a reroll? No. What the? Alrighty then. Less than ideal. Everyone up. Can we try someone else with higher intelligence? We're gonna keep failing, aren't we? There we go. Item received. Thrumbo's note. Wait, what? Today's abuse was the final straw. We are out of here. Carrion's reach extends only so far. Gather whatever money you can scrape together and give it to me. I'm going to buy a small boat and we're going to row to freedom. Spread out and hide until tomorrow night and then meet me at the usual spot on the beach. And for the love of mask, make sure Carrion doesn't see this note. Maybe swallow it. Okay. Not beneath the canvas. That was all that was there. That was not worth the massive amount of damage we just took. I now smell the need for a for a long rest. Uh, or maybe I should hold off. No, 
I really hope that long resting won't screw me over for that for that other quest. Um, cause, you know, long resting counts as a passage of time, and sometimes it does matter in this game, from my understanding. Um, so I've gotta keep my eyes open for that type of thing. But, we'll, we'll give it a shot, we'll see how it goes. I just left, didn't I? Whoops. Long rest, please. Yes. Does anyone want to chat? So far the answer is no. Therefore, good night. Crumple notes scrawled in blood. Excuse me, what happened here? What is this? A letter from Orin. Oh. Gortash's metal ma mannequins will not dance to your tune. They only dance to his. Set To set yourself against their steel is to invite domination. So, why slice the strings of one when you can make one cut to sever them all? Seek the blackened heart of their foundry and tear it out. Then the Lordling will play Puppet Master no more, Orin. Yeah, well, I kind of figured that out already without your help. Thank you very much. Uh, rescue Orin's victim. I would like to do that, actually. Uh, here. Take down the Steel Watch. We found a letter from Orin explaining that striking down Gortash will be difficult with the Steel Watch protecting him. We should find the Steel Watch foundry and take it down. Hopefully, the abductee is still safe. Yeah... Here's hoping. Good luck, Lazelle. You're you're a gift. You you can withstand this. I I'm sure. I'm sure. I have belief. In the meantime, good night. I uh, I don't see anything else new around here, so we're just gonna roll with it. That is way too much. That's being wasted at this point. Can I please get a better option than whatever the hell I'm getting here? Do I not have food that's worth only one? Why am I wasting one food? I hate that. I need to get 13 somehow. Uh... I guess there's nothing that's gonna give me 13, huh? Okay, give me 20. How about that? That's better. There was an object here that was giving gonna give me 20. I saw it. I did see it. Just do this. Good enough. I don't know why the auto-select is not efficient sometimes. It's quite awkward. Uh-oh, what now? Oh, but there was nothing. But I do hear a quest being updated, and I'm a little concerned about that. Why? What happened? Oh. Well, that's fine. I completed Stop the Presses because the printing um, press thing has been done. That's good. Um, in that case, we're heading back out. People are focusing on some cat instead of me, which is A-OK -okay in my book. Um, and now we shall return to... where is he? Where's the artist? Lady Janeth's estate? Yeah. So we'll port back and then we're gonna, we're gonna keep exploring the rest of this. Now, I do want to have that torch. The Torch of Revocation. Apparently this is a thing. Uh, Janeth, where do you live again? I never went into the building across the street, I do see that. Uh, you're further down. Oh, that's right, you're in this one. I hope the butler is doing alright. We're back to help. Thank you. The Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Sun Earthquakes, Counting House, Elf Song Tavern. Yeah, this is stuff we've read before. Oh yeah? Hmm. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh, that might be why. Enter, if that is your wish. Personally, I would advise you against it. Yeah, but I'm here to help. I think this will be enough to get this, uh... Get your mistress's problems resolved. Should I talk to her first about it? Probably, right? Uh, Lady Janeth, I'm back. This place is still soaked in blood, but you know. Music will change, of course. Appreciate it. Uh, not where I wanted to go. This is all considered stealing. That thing is still there. I don't really want to get into a fight, but I might not have a choice. He's still unconscious, which is good news. Hey there. 
You wanna you wanna chat, Lady Janice? Did you find anything in Oscar's atelier? I did. Oh, the, yeah. There's quite a bit. Um, there's a painting of his former lover hidden in a side chamber. <sighs> Is that so? Perhaps I asked too much, making him let her go so quickly. His love sickness will pass with time. Did you find anything else? Um, some beautiful pieces of art. Oscar is truly talented. Of course, my husband is a visionary. But did you find anything that might help him? Yes, a letter from someone called the Mystic Carrion. Oh, not him. Oh, so you know who Karen it is. Carrion calls himself a spirit medium. His morbid services are something of a fad among the nobility. From what I've heard, it's invitation only. He has a mansion down near the water. A forsaken place, dank and decayed as he is. You must find Mystic Carrion. If he's responsible for this mess, he can bloody well clean it up. Well, the good part is, that part is dealt with. Did you speak with Carrion? Has he provided a cure? Uh, I spoke with him. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, I killed him. He won't be inflicting any more possessions on unwitting pa uh, patrons. Did you find anything that might help Oscar? I like how she completely disregarded the fact that I killed the unkillable mummy, uh, mummy lord. I have a torch of revocation. It should be enough to dispel the spirit. Then what are you waiting for? Do it! I'm on my way. Chill out. Uh, I'm gonna ignore that. Um... We're still gonna go. We're experiencing damage over time. Not good. Not good. Not good. Didn't I get rid of all of these? At one point. Alright, everyone just take damage. It is what it is. Everyone up. Everyone up. We're going through. We're burning this. We're burning this. Okay. Oh, hi. Where is he? Where is he? Echo of a lost love. Uh oh. Um. Unsent letter for the eyes of Lady Janet only. I should probably pick up this man first. The one who's down. I should pick him up. Can I please run? He's going to die from a death saving throw failure. Get him. Get him. Help him. <sighs> Wonderful. Okay, so that was awful. Um, but we've dispelled everything. That took the edge off. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a double small uh, short rest, unfortunately. Okay, how did I miss this uh, note before? Um, the occasional smear of oil paint splotches this hastily quilled letter. My dearest Lady Janeth, I write to inform you of my progress on your portrait and my struggles therein. You see, while my skill at capturing countenance is considered far superior to the other brushfolk of this good city, it is lacking in one particular aspect. My memory of your form is far inferior to the purest beauty I beheld when you first sat with me. How can I finish a masterpiece without confidence in my grasp of its subject? I beg of you, sit for me again. Allow me to finish this portrait in the proper fashion, with its ravishing, with its ravishing subject firmly grasped within my gaze. Yours, Oscar Feffers. Are we implying that she was taken over by like a doppelganger or something? Hmm. Everyone's a doppelganger around here. Carrie is a dead lady. Okay. All right. Uh, the Van Thamper brothers, the Vamus elder sister. These are all just not going to talk to me now, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna steal these. Okay, um, what happened to the ghost? As, as far as I know, she got dispelled. Interesting dead poltergeist over here. No ectoplasm or anything that I can pick up. I don't really like navigating in this house because it doesn't really treat the camera very well. Okay, she's alive but unconscious, okay. Um, yeah, the camera always seems to, like, mess around a lot because of the multiple floors. So whenever I click somewhere, it just randomly goes in the wrong place. Alright, what's going on in here? Who are you? Get out! Get out! 
please. Look, you're a bit overly Gary, attached. My darling, yeah. listen to me. You brought me here. You did this. What did he do? Do not interfere. He's coming home with me. Uh, no, that's a bad idea. Yeah, calm yourself, Shade. We can resolve this peacefully. Another one who wants to control me. Please elaborate. He called me here. Trapped me. Pathetic little childish boy. I only wished to explain myself to make you see how... No! Enough of your whining! Enough! Selfish, arrogant bastard of an artist! I wanted to be left in peace! Ah. Uh, so he pulled her spirit out of the, uh... Out of the afterlife and basically bound her to an object, which is why she's pissed. I understand that. Please, tell me what happened to you. And how does that help me? Or is it just to help him? It'll help you both. Why does everything always have to revolve around Oscar Feveras? Oh, my sweet Carrie. What did I do to you? Save your tears for the ethereal play. Um... Monk Persuasion. Yes, ask yourself, will killing this man make you happy, give you purpose, or are you better than this? This is one of the ones where I'm going to reroll if I fail, obviously. Oh, nice. I'll take it. Thank you. What are you saying? You're trying to confuse me. You're better than this. It's so hard to think. I don't remember. Carry my sweet meat. Sweet meat, I, dear I just Lord. Need to okay. Know that what you did that it wasn't my fault. Why am I here? I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be. The spirit's aura flickers, changes. She is confused, lost, dragged here unwillingly by a man who refused to let her leave. Mm. Monk persuasion. Oscar does not matter. You do. Say what you need to say to him, no matter how difficult it is. Yep. I don't even know what happened to her. Did she- did he kill her by accident? Oh, this will be bad. Time to reroll. Go. Thank you. Fine. If Oscar wants the truth, he can have it. We were a fling, nothing more! Oof. My decision had nothing to do with him! I did this because I was so fucking sad! Oh, did she did she off herself at one point? Is that what happened? Oscar finds it easy ah, to imagine. I see. A world where women kill themselves over him. And one where they have their own bloody problems. I'm sorry, Kerry. I had no idea. But I I was truly not to blame. That's all he's focusing no. on. That's annoying. You weren't. So you and your poxy paintings stay away from me. We're done, Oscar. Over. Now let me rest in bloody peace. I mean, she's dead and gone. It's super over. Alrighty then. That was interesting. Uh, God, what a mess I've made of it all. Just a bit. My sweet Ferelia. I've been a rotten fool, haven't I? And yet you never left my side. It will take more than a ghost to scare me away. Though I wish you would come to me sooner. I appreciate that his outfit is covered in paint splotches. That's a nice detail. Um, wait, that's it? You're just gonna forgive him? I'm no fool. I know Oscar loved another when we met. But when we made our vows, I meant them. Throughout my... Wow. <laughs> ordeal, how open-minded of you. how tenderly you cared for me. Even at my worst... You never left my side. Truly, you were the one who saved me. I'm so sorry, my darling. Uh... Janeth deserves more than an apology for what you put her through. A debt I'll spend a lifetime repaying. As for you, my noble friend, our account can be settled far more quickly. This is the second time. That's two you owe me, Junior. I promise you'll leave with something priceless. Immortality. Okay, I can already tell what it's gonna be. You're gonna paint me, aren't you? Oh, uh, that's what you mean. 
All right, fair enough. Let me put on my actual weapon again. Uh, I don't even remember what it's called at this point. This one. Yes, this one. I haven't found an upgrade in forever, I will say that. So, first you save my husband, then you save our marriage. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Um... <laughs> sure, you're most welcome. Anything to support the arts. Yes, rather more exciting than a fundraising banquet, wasn't it? Needless to say, Oscar won't be having anything more to do with the supernatural. One possession is quite enough for any marriage. You must take up his offer. Go to his atelier, sit for him. Then perhaps you will understand what I see in him, flawed as he is. Alright, yeah, so he's just gonna paint us. Sure. Paint the entire party, please. Also, you're gonna have to clean up, um, after yourselves. <laughs> just, just saying. I guess you've got all the workers. You can call them back in now. Jeez Louise, look at all this crazy stuff. Uh, yeah, your butler is literally standing outside, so you can call him back in and then call in the rest of your staff. Hello. Here she is, the hero of the hour. That's me. The are oiled, the canvas prepped, and you... Well, you're comfortable. That's the main thing. So, shall we begin? Sure, why not? How long is this going to take? Hey, there's something wrong with what I'm wearing? No, 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 of course not. As an artist, I want to capture your true essence in this portrait. Bloodstains and all. Oh, of course, if you do want to freshen up first, I'm more than happy to wait. After all, it will be seen by generations to come. Uh... Okay, I might need a moment. Take as long as you need. How do I go about removing the, um... I guess I have that everlasting water thing, right? Like that, 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 that wet cape cloak the reverse ring cloak okay and then I can put this back on did that count did that wash the the blood off am I good brushes well you're comfortable of course if you okay how about you just make sure I look good nothing could be simpler let's begin shall we yeah let's and voila! Wonderful, thank you. <sighs> All it needs now is a name. Something to capture the spirit in which it was created. Uh... The Ghost Whisperer. Um... Let's not overcomplicate things. Portrait of an Adventurer is fine. The Mighty Defender of the Arts. The Ghost Whisperer. I kinda like the Ghost Whisperer. Is that bad? Is it bad that I'm entertained by the Ghost Whisperer? Hopefully not, but I think that's fitting. I think that's the one I'm gonna go with, actually. Yes, the Ghost Whisperer. Perhaps not the thing you'll be remembered for, but a fine quality, nonetheless. Adds a certain mystique, I think. There's a, a certain Please, sense of pizzazz, take certainly. it in for a moment. It's not every day one's face is preserved for posterity. Uh, folk hero, painted hero. Truly. Art is an act of the imagination. Okay, um, Folk Hero just got updated because we have a Painted Hero, obtained a portrait, obtained the Ghost Whisperer. Can I actually put it down? Legendary. Oh, and how fetching a face. Flawed, flawless, elegant, hideous, pained, pleasurable. It seems to fit all such descriptors and many more besides. Okay, so when I put this down, is it just going to be like my character portrait? That's not me. You painted Jahara. That is not what I expected. Okay, well, what was the whole? Po okay, whatever. Um, he decided to paint her instead of me. I guess she's just that much prettier to look at than myself. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I can't um can't say too much about it. Alrighty then. Um, in that case, let us. Hmm, what do I want to do? Free Orpheus. No, I don't want to do that. I can't do that without- I don't- I, I don't want to embark on that journey without having the, our local Githyanki in the party. Uh, Kazador, not, don't, not feeling ready to take that on yet. Hack Survivors. Hmm. 
Hack Survivor sounds fun. Yeah, Hack Survivor sounds fun. Let's go back to the heap side. And then head westward. So, just this way, I believe. Uh, and then up, presumably. What is this? A beggar? Probably a beggar. Yep, we've been through this. Oh, I forgot about the hatch! I need to go back to the hatch in the, uh, in the mansion. My bad. Um, so first things first, I'm gonna go back to the house. We're re-exploring our, um, the location we left behind. You see, sometimes I do remember things, and then sometimes I will completely, <laughs> completely fail. I'll make a note of a location and then, like, forget to actually explore it, so that's on me. Alright. I should probably sell him some stuff again as well while we're here. Uh, okay, so just through the stone wall here. I have to assume that this is going to take me downstairs into the uh, into the sewers. Can you please let me select the ladder? Thank you. And uh, we'll check out the hatch. What have we got? Phil Gray's mansion basement. Oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Maybe not. Fascinating. Okay, a mummy's memories. Elixir of Necrotic Resistance. Some mortals might wonder why a mummy lord would abandon a subterranean crypt where he was, has abided for several human lifetimes, safely conducting delicate experiments into the very nature of life and its so-called opposite death, and trade all of that for a perilous existence in a ramshackle waterfront house in the cesspit of Baldur's Gate. Some mortals might be morons. An entity of erudition and taste must naturally have a keen appreciation um, for what the surface world has to offer, the lilt of music and the lyricism of poetry, the cry of seagulls over Grey Harbor at sunset, the touch of a soft, non-decayed hand. You don't need a nose to savor a fine wine. Really. All of these things... Do you taste as an undead? Hmm. All of these things and more I have earned through my dedication to esoteric studies. But all these things, as well as rare alchemy ingredients, alembics, and athenors, cost money. A lot of it. Thus, my new career as a high-priced and exclusive mystic consultant to the wealthy of the upper city. I have needs, and they will not be denied. Okay. A secret lair in the Undercity ruins. What was Carrion doing there? Uh, but we were already there. We've already found it, right? That's a tiny skull. Actually, no, that's about an average size skull. Uh, that seems disgusting. Not interested. And... There's a hole, but unless we transmute ourselves into being a tiny, uh, tiny animal, I don't think we can go through there. That's fine, I'll just pick up this stuff. I'm pretty sure we found his secret lab already anyway. Um, which is how we knew how to get his, um, his urn out of the, um, out of Thrum, Thrumbor. So. It's cool. I already did the proper, uh, proper exploration necessary. Thrumbo, I wish to speak. But I have to run all the way around awkwardly before I can sell you things. Is there even anything worth selling at this point? Sorta, sorta. Let's get going. Swift as uh, my can carry me. Something good here, I hope. Oh, we can't get that though, can we? It's too far out of reach. Okay. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna go. Oops. Awaken, little one. Uh okay, now we're gonna go westward, and then we're gonna try to help the hag survivors. I'm still expecting to find, um, that girl from, um, from way back when in the, uh, in the swamp area with, uh, with the hag. Auntie Ethel, was it? Gloomy Fentenson fits the firecracker. Hello. You're merchants. Nice. Need something for defense? Or maybe offense? Either way, I've got what you need. Do you now? Let me see what you have to offer. Can I finally get a weapon upgrade, please? It's been forever since I found one. Uh, the Flail of Ages. Uh, Elemental Age, stuff like that. That's a seems like a very Shadow Heart type of thing, but not something I need at the moment per se. I don't think. The Dead Shot. That seems pretty interesting. It's better than least expected, but 1d4 for ranged weapon attacks. Um, 
I mean, 1d6 plus 5, 1d8 plus 5. Tell you what, just buy it. Just buy it. Um, we're gonna toss these, cause who cares. I'm okay with you selling least expected as well, truth be told, because it is now replaced. Defender of the people. We'll get rid of these. Don't care for it. Let us show them how it's done. All right, good enough. All of my wares are tried and true. Hells, some of them are probably already killed before. Okay, sure. I'll take your word for it. Spear plus one. Is this not considered sealing? Apparently not. I will now sell it back to Something you. Something caught your eye then? Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Let me see what you have to offer. And by that, I mean, here's the spear that you made that I'm going to sell back to you. Sharp as ever. Wonderful, thank you. Trade's booming. Folk are scared. I'm better to be scared and armed than scared and empty-handed, I always say. Indeed. Gloomy for Fentonson. You in need of protection, friend. <laughs> what am I saying? Everyone's in need of protection. Don't be shy. This armor can't keep you alive if it's sitting here with me. Fair enough. What have you got? Uh... Nothing I care for. Armor of agility. Ooh. Add your full dexterity modifier to your armor class. Additionally, this armor does not impose disadvantage on stealth and ability checks. Yeah, but no one wears medium armor. No one except for Carlock. And of course, uh, Lazel. Who has been MIA for a while now, so... Unfortunately, none of this is going to be relevant. All right, well, thank you for showing me. Truth be told, I wear chainmail to bed these days. Oh, I've heard too many stories to take any chances. That's hardly fair. I can't blame you for that. Uh, alrighty then. Um, where am I? And I also still have a painting. Oh, Stelmane's portrait. Okay, fair enough. Um, I could go north, but I don't want to, so I'm going to go south. I'm going to go through here. More random merchants talking to uh, and er uh, civilians. What's going on? We're rooting out disloyal elements among the problem citizens. All right, now move along. Okay, but who are you identifying as problem citizens? First of all, guts. This is totally obnoxious. But I guess I better keep my lips sort shut, eh? Apparently, according to these people. I stole an apple once when I was nine, but that thing won't know about it. I think stealing an apple is pretty low on the list of crimes, but don't worry. I wish we could get this over with. If I don't make my deliveries, I don't get paid. Fair enough. I mean, there's nothing I can do to uh, to speed this along for you guys, we sadly. Serve Lord Gortash. Yes, we know. As you can see, there's no trouble here, right? And I'm sure you don't want to cause any. You know, the fists are really getting on my nerves. Just saying. Um, so now I'm on the other side of whatever the hell this is. There's a murder target there. I want to check out these buildings, too. All of these homes. Honest vendor? Civilian. Are you actually an honest vendor? That remains to be seen. Limp's Cobbler is interesting. Hello. Have you fallen foul of a cultist curse? Been addled by an absolutist incantation? Not sure? Best stock up on charms, just in case. Are you a snake oil salesman? Protection, of course. Who knows the horrors these cultists have up their sleeves? Can't be too prepared. Okay. Let me see what you've got. Are they real charms? No, they're bullshit. Actual bull. Okay. Satisfaction guaranteed. I need to turn you in. Charms, wards, abjuratory aids. Get them all right here. Although to be fair, maybe the the actual charms and stuff were sold out. Maybe someone did buy them all. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm not stupid. I know it's probably a scam. But what if it's not? Okay, well I'll tell you right now it's a scam. Um okay, let's check out the cobblers. What have we got? Uh-oh, there's a ledger. I mean, it's just a clothing store, is it not? Hello? 
Dravo Flim. Be very welcome to Flim's Cobblers, humble family home of our Archduke Enver Gortash. Family home. He may not have followed in his old man's shoe steps, but Archduke's not so bad, is it? Are you his actual, like, your Gortash's father then? He's the image of me, isn't he? Always was a handsome devil. You know, Detect Thoughts is about to come into play. Yep, we're doing it. Show me what is hidden away in your mind. Nothing. It's as though the inner workings of his mind have been wiped clean. Interesting. Okay. Let me see your wares. Various shoes. Finest leather in the city. Ask anyone. Hmm. Is he actually blood related or not? He is a human. He's not a changeling. Hmm. Yes. What's that? Portrait of Gortash. Interesting. I just want to read your ledger, though. Ledger of orders received and fulfilled at Flim's Cobbler Shop. After a moderate listing of jobs in and out, there's a large order for 26 pairs of Flaming Fist Scout boots due for delivery at Worms Rock at the end of the current 10 day. The order has been underlined three times with a note in the margin that reads, Tamora's tits will never get this done in time. I mean, how generous. Okay. So what exactly is up with this? Big Gortash fans. Evidently. Big Gortash fans. Why was that pointed out to me? A picture of Gortash. They must be very proud of their boys. And I raised one such as Gortash. I would not be so keen to advertise it to the world. I just realized, of course, that each individual party companion, party member, has unique dialogue when you examine things, and I've been missing out on that dialogue the entire game. Gosh. The man should be burning in hellfire. Not Wait, where'd you come from? Sally Flim, I didn't see you earlier. Did you come down from upstairs? Ah, sir, you've chosen a special day to visit the family home of Archduke Enver Gortash. Yeah. We're celebrating our dear son's magnificent achievement with a special run of leather-soled shoes. Well, that's nice of you. It's interesting that the son of the Archduke is in the lower city. Oh, sorry, the, uh, the parents of the Archduke live in the lower city and haven't been upgraded to a higher station or anything like that. Uh, probing. We're doing it. Let me guess, nothing either. Help me. Oh, God. Gods, help me. That's not good. Your tadpole squirms. These people are infected with the parasite. But something is off. Are they about to transform? Uh, illithid time. You search her mind, but the psionic forces that control her are different. Split somehow. Your own consciousness slips into the gap. Help me! God, help me! Enver's ruined my mind. He's taken my body. I should have slammed the door in his face, but I let him in and he ran some kind of worm in our eyes. Are you actually his parents, though? Here, hmm. but I can't speak. I can't act. I'm trapped. I have no mouth and I must scream. She's basically living because I just finished um, the Dishonored uh, Brigmore Witches DLC. He, she's basically living through Delilah's plan right now um hmm why would he do this to you he said he wanted to make us powerless still bitter after all these years but we did what was best for him for all of us we had debts world ending debts trying to keep this cursed shop afloat Dangerous lenders who said they'd bury us all if we didn't pay. What did you do? The warlock offered us a pretty penny for Enver's Ah, service. I see. He was a smart boy. Too smart. It was give him up and all of us live or refuse and die. What choice did we have? Hmm... <laughs> 
Well, I'm kind of looking at this. It's like, oh, you sold your son to a warlock. That's unforgivable. But I'm kind of like, is it though? Like, was he not apprenticed to the warlock? Or was he used as a slave? That's the real question I have right now. Was he like a slave or a student? Right? You may not have intended to, but you created a monster. He was always a little monster. Nasty to the core. He would have torn me and Trufo apart with his whining, his demands, the never-ending racket of him. You may disagree, Enver did, but we don't deserve this, this torment. You're the first person who's heard the real me in months. Okay, how would you like me to help? Mm, why would I help you after what you did to your own son? My son? True. You've seen what he's like, same now as when he was a boy. Hateful little wretch. If you were me, you'd have sent him away too, believe you me. Fair enough. I have to believe her on that front. Um, There's nothing I can do for you, at least for now. I'm sorry. There has to be. I can't live like this. I'm trapped. Trapped. The only thing I can do is kill you. I can put you out of your misery if you like. There has to be another way. Okay. I deserve to live again. I deserve my own life. Okay, I'll try to help you. I'm gonna wait, leave. Wait. What? Your what? Your tripod lashes and recoils. The connection is broken. Come again soon. Well, that was kind of disturbing. Uh, okay, I don't know if I can actually help her or not. She says wait, and I wish I could, but... Hmm. There's a wooden chest. I want to know. I must know. Astarian, it's up to you. Let's go. What have we got? I mean, I hope I can have that conversation with her again in the future, but I don't... Like, right now, there's no way for us to cure that, um, that tadpole problem. Scrapbook of letters. A collection of letters between two correspondents, but all are written in unfamiliar code or cipher. At the end of the scrapbook is a sheet titled, Plain Text Deciphered by G. Chosen of Ball. Your proposal is intriguing. Tell us more about the Crown of Carsis. Chosen of Bane. It was created to enhance and broadcast the dominance of its creator, but during the folly, it was inverted, turned inward. Now, instead of the wearer dominating others, others can dominate the wearer. Useful. I like it. How do you exert this dominance? The crown has three begemmed finials. They are the foci, and they are... detachable. Three. So that's why our masters want Merkel added to the cabal. With the crown on the right cranium, we could rule from the shadows, but how do we get it? We steal it from Mephistopheles himself, and I know who can get us there. A Diabolus named Helsick. Helpful. We're selling that. Okay. I don't think we learned too much new information from that. Uh... So, I'm sorry about your... About, uh, both of you, really. Can I talk to your, the real you again? Welcome back. Mmm... A pleasure to meet the mother of the Archduke. He's one and only. My, but he's made us proud. Such humble beginnings. And look at him now. I've been crying happy tears all this ten day. What more could a mother want for her little boy? Kind of creepy. Uh, I know what you did. I know that you sold your son into slavery. Oh, oh. You have things very, very wrong. A dutiful mother could never do something so heinous. A good mother couldn't have fathomed such a horror. We love our son, Enver. We love him so much. Okay. Uh, I see that you're still sneaking back there. Oh, wrong person. All right, well, I can't really, uh, can't really help them out, sadly. Uh, with that in mind, let's keep moving. Or mo- oh, what the- 
still breathing, despite everything. Who's Ormont? Hello, Ormont and Tugelnhorn. I'm on my break. Let me have some peace, won't ya? Uh, sure. Sorry about that. Hard life working these docks. But steady, at least. Always something that needs hauling. I believe you. Um, so there's another house here that's also not labeled, so we're gonna check it out. It's locked, though. Old Garlow's. Warning. The property of the individual known as Old Garlow has been deemed unsafe for habitation under City Bylaw 42A. Uh-huh. Do not enter. This is considered... Oh, yeah, they're just chilling in here. Cleddered salt can stop egg magic. Okay. There's no real other side entrance unless we go in through the bookshelves in the back. We could just do it that way. But that might scare them off. But then again, I also don't want to waste my lockpicks on the oak door if I can avoid it. So... Let's let's check the mailbox, and then we'll check the side door entrance. Notice of Condemnation. Dear Sir, as our previous correspondences have gone unanswered, a Builder's Guild representative was forced to enter your property in order to inspect the premises. Your property has been found in gross violation of several safety regulations, uh, various city laws. Until steps are taken to correct this, we are condemning condemning the property known as Old Garlow's Place, effective immediately. Should you wish to cons um, contest this, please contact your local Builders Guild representative. Cut regards, Ardent Low Council of Four Liaison. Okay. Not learning too much from that. We're going in through the bookshelves. I'm noticing that the girl uh, I was talking about isn't here. We're going through. Hello there. An intruder. These That's an interesting dragonborn. He just looks like a snake. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. To be fair, I am the Dark Urge and a Drow, so I can't exactly say that she's wrong, but still. <laughs> I will eat your souls! Rawr! Um, Calm down, I seek no trouble. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around He literally us. just looks like a snake. Quickly, Cleric! Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash! Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Uh, one thing first. I am entertained because she's like, oh, you're all monst you're a monster. And I'm kind of like, well, my party makeup, I can't blame her for that either. Again, uh, Dark Urge, Drow. Someone who's clearly been cursed by a demon, or is a demon. <laughs> Vampire spawn. The only one who's not obviously or potentially evil is the uh, is the hero of the city here, the half elf. Or what is she? Half elf, full elf. Anyway, uh, a hag is after you. I can help. I fought one before. It's gonna be one hell of a persuasion. Nice. Wait, Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. I sure wish I could see her Please, face. Everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Who she hexed? Um. Why is she hunting you? Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it. Thanks to Marina, our leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Is Marina the name of that girl? Marina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, I'm suspecting now that if I can reach a peaceful solution here, they're going to become my allies at the in the endgame as well. Um, 
It's nice to see the stuff from Act 1 coming back into play. Marina, I know her. She was captured by Auntie Ethel. You're the one that saved her. Yep, that's me. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. Should but I be entertained or offended? There is hope. If anyone can help Marina, it's you. Yep, me again. She's upstairs. Oh. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Okay, how bad is this going to be? This seems a little concerning. Um, can I talk to the others, please? Please? Hello? I'm glad you're here. I clearly lack the power to keep the hag and her hexes away from Marina. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of tumbling around upstairs, and that was probably her laughing. You protected Marina until now. That's worth something. You are kind. But I serve Helm. And failing to keep this hex from Marina is unforgivable. In both his eyes and mine. Any idea how to remove the hex? None. The magic originates from a hag's twisted lair. I can deal that, with that. I'm sure. But as to its cure, Helm has not revealed it to me. Mm, you should leave while you still can. I was lost when Marina and I first met. Yet her courage reminded me of who I am. Helm's shield. I will not turn my back on her. Fair enough. Also, is her, um, undead husband up there with her? Because I did bring him back, didn't I? I don't... I, I think I did. Uh... I actually don't remember if I brought him back or not. I might have convinced her that bringing him back was a bad idea. I, it's been a long time. It's been literal months. I guess I'll find out when I get up there. Uh, where's a wooden hatch? Uh-oh. Various traps. Let me guess. The lair's gonna be down here somewhere. I don't know. Let's talk to Jotlo and Kled. Convenient. You showing up like this. You may have the others fooled, but I shall be keeping a close eye on you. That's okay. I don't blame you for being suspicious. Uh, Marina's an old friend. I wouldn't hurt her. Then stop wasting my time and go help her. Fair enough. Uh, can you tell me about your plans or ideas about how to remove Are the curse? Are you here to help Marina or simply irritate me? Uh, any idea how to remove the hex? If I did, I would not be standing here. Fair enough. If you don't want my help, just say so. I don't. Leave. And let us deal with this ourselves. Mm, you've only got 110 health. Just saying. Please help Lady Marina. She's nice and kind and sweet to Clint. Uh, to uh, everyone. Uh huh. Uh, she's just a sheep. She'll be fine. Wait, what? You and Marina sound close. Friends only. Uh, he's interested, but I think she's too good for him. Kind for the likes of Cled. But if you can't stop the hex, Cled will take care of her. Feeding, cheering, scratching behind her ears. Cled will do his best. Okay, so she's but she's been turned into a sheep. Apparently, any idea how to remove the hex? No. Cled isn't good at hag magic. Can't help sweet Lady Marina. That's fine, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, alright. Who's laughing up here? I don't know, but I'm gonna take the paintings. Um, Traveler's Chest. Oh, definitely gonna go through this first. I kind of want to look downstairs before I go up. Yeah, I kind of want to look in the basement before anything else goes on. Let's check out the hatch. Oh, Helm and Boss Journal. Okay, that's going to be the uh, the cleric over here. This journal is written in an elegant hand. On each page, a gauntlet with a staring eye is carefully drawn. I was lost when I came to this city. A coward. A drunkard. I thought everything that made me worthy had been stripped away by the Annis Hag. And then, Marina found me. She helped me remember the tenets I once fought for. Courage. Honor. Duty. She brought me back to Helm, and she saved my life. Now my savior, my friend, is in pain. A hag hexed her, trapping her in the body of a sheep. 
It was my job to protect her and the others, and I failed. If she dies, I will not be long following her. Oof. Okay, well, I definitely don't want Marina to die. Um... So I will do a manual save. I probably want to have the animal speaking potion. Um, but before anything else, let's go down the hatch. So we can walk around these traps without triggering them. I lied. Let me guess, more traps. Oh dear. Okay, okay, going well. Yeah, that's not going great. Um, is it time? Old Garlo's basement backroom key. Okay. Is it time for us to uh, do another long rest immediately? It might be. Quite unfortunate. Why is this highlighted? Is there another hatch back here? Teal slim fit outfit. Do I care? Do I care about that? What am I looking at? Is there another hatch? What? What is this? Looks like there's another hatch. But how do I activate it? I might not be able to activate it. Hmm. Uh, don't care. I'm not taking this guy's underwear. Just selling that. Nope. We're tossing this. Okay. A greetings to this home's new occupants. To whom it may concern, we shall never meet, but I am Garlo, and I've spent most of my life in the walls in which you now find yourself. I served long with this, within this home, such that it was left to me when my master died. I devoted myself wholly to a life of service, but found, once my time had finished, that I had hardly lived for myself for a single day. That's what changed now. I depart for Kalimshin, whatever that is, in the morning, and hope to see the world from there. Please take care of this little place. It was my whole world. All the best, Garlo. Alright. Lovely. So Garlo has left. It's Garlo's place, but he just dipped out. Uh, which is why it fell into disrepair then. Sure, I'll take those. Okay, so what exactly is back here? And how do I get down there? Can I get down there? Let me go up and down again. And hopefully this, uh, this clutter will reset. Hopefully. Let me back in. Uh, what is this? Is it a is it a thing for me to step on? Is that all it was? And then it opened this up, presumably, right? That's probably just a. Oh, and then there's a way out. Interesting. Okay, presumably that was just a switch to open the secret uh, secret passageway. In which case, maybe I should do a long rest. But that might get her killed upstairs. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna go in. We're going in. Yep, there is her husband. A voodoo doll. That seems bad. Bad omen. Yeah, no kidding. So there's Connor Vindel. Hoof trodden diary. Okay. This page starts off written in an elegant cursive, but soon devolves into a scrawling mess. I dreamed of Ethel again. She laughed, mouth full of my guts, as she ripped my baby from my stomach with her teeth. I screamed, and so did the babe. But then it changed into a doll, a horrible looking thing. I woke up freezing cold but burning hot. Will I ever escape that witch? I saw the doll again, but it was no dream. Cled was telling me about a nice cloud he saw outside when I spotted it over his shoulder, staring at me. I screamed, and poor Cled started screaming too, so I lied and said I saw a mouse. I think I just need to sleep. The doll, it's everywhere. I try to warn the others, but I can't speak. Can't walk. My fingers stiffen as I write. Adrienne, get... This page ends in a bizarre off-kilter scroll. Okay, so she's cursed. Now, my big question is, first off, obviously the initial um, instinct is to attack the voodoo doll. But if it's actually her baby, then I should not do that. And I hope the animal speak um, potion will come into play because she can warn me about that, so... Let's talk... Oh. Let's talk to her husband, the undead zombie. <laughs> yep, there he is. I did, in fact, resurrect him. Alright, what's going on, Marina? Damn it. What? 
Hey, Marina, it's me. I came to here. Uh, I came here to help you. All right. Yeah. Uh. Doll, got it. D doll. Find the doll. Oh, that's bad for her. That is not the correct sound for a <laughs> for a sheep, but okay. Yeah, that's not. Unless I've learned nothing in my life, that does not seem correct. So if I just take the voodoo doll... Okay. I mean, it's laughing at us, but can we not just shoot it? Or, like, throw a fireball at it? Uh... You there. Actually, no, why don't you do it? There you go. You removed my hex. Oh, shoot. Uh, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. Uh, okay. Uh, I realize I'm going to choose a different character because I got interrupted there. Marina was actually saying something. Arg, it was the Dragonborn, the Dragonborn hexed me, and then we got trapped in a conversation with the Dragonborn, who's downstairs. Ugh. Oh, my mouth tastes like mutton. We're not safe. There's a traitor. Understood. The Dragonborn, he's working for the Hag. We know. Uh, we're already in a conversation with him, actually. Uh... Your Hex, you're behind this? I should probably just ready myself, but... Tell me about who you are, now. I don't matter. Only Auntie does. Uh-huh. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. Yeah, he's probably just ensorcelled or charmed, right? True cruelty rules with fear alone. Pathetic the hag had to charm you. I'm sorry you lived the slave of such evil. Please. Auntie has gifted me idiots twice your size to feast on. You are a mere appetizer. Okay, um, they're all downstairs, so that's not great for them. Where did this... Oh, Jatlo's evil, too! Oh, no, 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 Jatlo is the... was the Dragonborn, sorry. Kled is good, Marina is good, Adriel is good. Problem is, Marina only has 10 health, which is not ideal. Marina's husband has very low health as well. Jatlo! Your 110 health still applies! And we can destroy the floorboards. That might be good. Might be necessary too, but if I destroy the floorboards, it might kill Kled, which I don't want. Fascinating. Marina, I need you to stay out of this. I really need you to stay out of this. Uh, I just realized I have like no health either. I'm walking right over here. I'm gonna beat this man up. Hello. You're literally the only enemy here. You are not a threat. Bye. Alright, let's chat, Marina. That lying, thieving, scaly little shit! Thanks for knifing the bastard. Um, you're welcome. That makes twice you've saved me. Correct. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. I'm noticing your husband is, uh, merged into the wall back there. Good to see you again, Marina. You too. I've come a long way since we last met. <laughs> this is distracting. I was sick and tired of feeling stupid. Helpless. So I decided I wasn't going to be a victim anymore. Mm -hmm. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We trapped a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. Oh, is that the waterfront girl that's missing? Any leads on the missing girl? None. 
Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help her. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. Hmm. Wait, is this Laura? She said her daughter disappeared in the Blushing Mermaid. It is linked to her connected. That's her! And she vanished in the maid. That sounds like a lead. Yep, I'll work on it. That's my next next task. We'll do what we can to find the girl. But our chances are a lot higher with you on our side. Yep. That Check is my next uh, main quest I plan I've to do. I've done my homework on Hag since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Stay from the back. Ooh. Staff of Interruption is not as good as my current one. That is very, 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 very disappointing. It's because I don't get the fire damage, isn't it? But I get counter spell. Well, I'll, I'll hold on to it, but it's still not as good as what I've got, unfortunately. Uh, Ethel's Lair Key. Yup, thank you. Note. My darling, Auntie has sent you a little present. A hex doll, just for Marina. Use it to scare her and her little cronies off. Or butcher them. I don't care. Just find that book. Or I'll rip out your lungs and feed them to your brothers. Lots of love, Auntie. Okay, so the chest... The, um... The chest in the back has the... A book that can hurt Auntie Ethel, apparently. I'll deal with the people downstairs in a moment. What chest are they talking about? Is it downstairs? Or is it up here? Heavy chest. This one? No, it's not this one. Hmm. It's not up here, either. Uh, okay, sure. She's still talking to her dead husband, Connor. That's pretty entertaining, but also a little sad. Um. Alright, we're going back down. I didn't find the chest down here. Oh, what the... Okay, well, that was a little awkward. Uh, hmm. Well, let's have a chat with all the lovely, lovely people downstairs, see what they have to say about this situation. I'm glad we were able to do that relatively quickly and easily. Uh, oh, this safe, right. Ashes of Dried Fae Flower. Hunter's Guide to Hags. Tear Stained Journal. This book seems part diary, part scientific study. Detailed diagrams of hags, from green to anis to dune, fill the margins. This page is written in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Sentences are blurred by what look like tears. The girl is dead. We were close, so close to perfecting it. Another day and she would have been safe, but we were too late. It was too much for the mother. I found her swinging from the rafters this morning. Oof. Helm, forgive me for not saving her. Forgive me for not saving her child. Two years old and eaten alive by a hag. What is wrong with this world? But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm onto something. I know it. Hags have powerful digestive systems. It's what allows them to turn a child into a hag. However, their gut flora is incredibly sensitive to certain alchemical agents. With the right ingredients and Helm on my side, I could theoretically force emesis, causing the hag to vomit up a stolen child. I both pray this works and that I'll never have to use it. Detailed instructions follow on how to make what the author calls a hag's bane. How do I make it? How do I make it? Hag's bane, please. Uh... I don't even know what it's considered to be. Potions, elixirs, coatings... Elixir? No. Tadpole elixir? Why do I want this? Oh no, hell no. Not using that. Um, supplements? No. Okay, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. Craftable only? I would like the hags recently added, please. Yes, that might help. Did I not pick up the hags bane? Oh, it's a grenade. In the land of Prismere, where fair Zabilna reigns, they had their share of hag trouble. Oh yes, they had it in spades. Hags have a special predilection for children and the power to inherit in innocence. And the power inherent to innocence. Disrupting one in the consumption of that power could be cataclysmic for the hag. So I have to throw it as it's trying to eat a child? 
Okay. This will be very helpful. I'm gonna have to remember that I have it. Um. Okay, first things first, let's chat. Hello, Connor. Yep. Connor, honey, don't wander off. Sorry. Don't merge into a wall either. Is the hag dead? We're not there yet. I haven't even left the house. How is your husband's uh, condition? At the beginning, I saw a spark of the old Connor in his eyes. But recently, nothing. But I won't give up. I can't. You know he's super dead, right? Connor, sorry. Why are you Did still dragging that corpse around with you? He's not a corpse. Uh -huh. He's my husband. The man I vowed to support through sickness and health. Yes, but until death do you part and he died. <laughs> you can you stop now. Like Fine, but keep your comments to yourself. Fair enough, sorry. Adriel, what do you have to say about this? Let's talk. You are not Adriel. This is all my fault. Mayrina was hexed mere days after the Dragonborn joined us. Why didn't I see it? Probably should have been a little obvious, yes. Um... Hag, hags, and their agents are liars and cheats by nature. That's no excuse. I know what they're like. Yet still, I welcome the Dragonborn with open arms. That is a little Mayrina silly, yes. Mayrina was right about you. Thank you for saving her when I couldn't. You're welcome. Anything else? You must stop the hag, or she'll never stop tormenting us. Please. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll get her. And Cled, what have you got to say? Oh, I didn't want to go upstairs. What's up? The Dragonborn was Cled's friend. Nope, not true. Why? Why would he hurt Lady Marina? Uh. He was only pretending to be her friend. It was all a ploy. But Lady Marina was kind to him. To us. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Anyone who hurts Lady for spies. Marina is Cled's enemy. But anyone who helps her. He's Cled's friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, you guys need to be a little bit more careful in the future. Until I deal with this threat. Cled can't take any more red cuts. Can't! Yeah, so until I deal with the problem, maybe don't accept anyone new into your party, yes? Okay, so with that uh, out of the way, I'm going to call it right here. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Baldur's Gate 3. And next episode, I think I'm going to slip through the murder target location and head straight towards the Blushing Mermaid. And then hopefully take out Auntie Ethel um, in that episode. And if not, the one after. So, have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.